I am still hey, nice. Door. Looking around, my friend. So what's new? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I just went down to the uh, local biker gang and uh, we raided some uh, bars and stuff like that. Hmm. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see in Discord there's a picture with all the uh, cartoon stuff on it? Yes. I want that put on to Twitch without value while we get the show ready. Hey, check my volume real quick. I'm going hands-free so I can work, but I will be going PTT in just a second. Yes, no, happy, sad? Yep, uh, sounds good. I, I'm actually working on it right now. Sweet. You're the man. Uh, not the man, I'm, but I'm the person. Whatever. You are they. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are Legion. Exactly. <laughs> so you're the devil? Yes. Because you know that that means that, right? <laughs> Whenever somebody yes. goes, we are legion. That's what the I devil am. does when he possesses someone. They always Hello. say the same thing. Hello. Oh, hold on. This is not working the way it's supposed to. Okay. Uh, I just... It, it's... It's perplexing me how many questions I have. Fraz, can I just... God, I just want to go off and have some questions here. Sure. Questions that, that I'm too scared to ask. Sure. Are you sure? Can you handle Absolutely. it? We're not live, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah. This is just between you and me as friends, okay? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um, is it... <clears throat> With today's world the way it is, is it just popularity... Or is it really just like people feel the way they feel or they have to label themselves? It's trying to understand why – is this like in reference to, uh, to like uh, agent or stuff like that or is this different stuff? Just all of it collectively. The whole thing is like, okay, we all struggle to find our identities. That's just life, right? Yeah. And we all struggle to like, you know, I'm wearing a – I'm wearing fucking Tony Stark glasses and a bandana today because, well, I thought it looked look kind of cool. And, and, yeah. and, like, that's appropriate. But, like, labeling yourself, is it feels like you're boxing yourself in. And that's how I feel. It it, it really doesn't to me, Polly. And, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut. Fraz, I don't mean to no, cut No, this off, is, but yeah, gonna, open but, forum, but, as we're friends, yeah, just friends as, talking. Yeah, yeah so... It's uh, one of the best things about the company that I work for is that they kind of pr- promote this all-inclusive uh, culture mm-hmm. where it's basically be your best self. And what you identify as, we will respect you as a person and we will help you identify, you know, be yeah, that identity. Is it, It's and not set in stone, though, is it? Meaning like your identity, if I feel like a popsicle today, can I feel like a chair tomorrow? I mean, does it have to be said in stone if I pick well, one or not? Well, then, then that would be that would be a different conversation that we would have to to have, and it would probably be me giving you some pamphlets about mental health. But if if, if this is because I do have, I was just giving a, it a, as an example. That that's yeah, what I meant. Yeah. I don't mean any joke by it, other than like just the funny aspect of it. Because like I guess, like I said, I grew up in an era where we didn't care, like. You want to be this or that? We don't care. That's that's we're all inclusive, and then it turned into I'm not being inclusive for being inclusive. That's where I have a problem. Where is it where I'm cool with whatever, but apparently that's wrong. I have I must do more. Well, there are some people in this world who just pretty much believe that there are only two genders when, in fact, there the the the. Uh, the answer is that there are endless because it is mostly just being comfortable in your own skin and yeah. what you identify as. Well, and there's nothing completely and totally wrong with it. Yeah, you know? that's again, that's the thing. And like, if you feel like you're a boy today and a girl tomorrow, that's you know, I don't give a fuck. Um, I just feel that why do I have to feel like I have to do extra because. I don't care because, like, I look at people as people. I look at we'll, we'll use sorry, Frass. We'll use you as an example. Don't don't take it wrong. Yeah. When you told me all this stuff, I'm like, okay, you're you're still Frass to me. I mean, I don't see 
Like, I'm cool with it. I don't care. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, yeah. You know, you know, and honestly, brother, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you figured out what you identify as. And the courageous thing was to like gonna... say it out loud too. Yeah. That's the and big, you, yeah. you're moving forward with your best life, bro. Mm-hmm. And I, that's, and that's the most important thing. I mean, I've only known you for a few months, but. You cool in my book, bro. You can come over to my house, crash on my couch, <laughs> and we can play Sega all night. Excellent. I what it what it, what it comes down to because because I is understanding. Like I've been in the fog. Like whenever we've like done the jokes about like is that person hot or like you know just different things and like I've I, it's never jived with me and I've and, and I and, and and I didn't understand why. So it, mm-hmm. it's. It's not trying to put a label be like like you have to understand, but more it's to it makes things make more sense when you understand who you are. That that yes, because I realize that I'm not part of the norm. I don't uh-huh. go against the same. Well, there is a norm. There is like a heterosexual norm. A lot of people are heterosexual, and and that's uh, see, I don't fit in that norm. Okay, to try to tell you the truth, my personal life, what I like in bed is very violent. Okay, a- so do you see me fucking plugging that and making people like understand me? No, that's well, private. That's and you who know, I am. You, you don't. You don't have to either. What I'm doing is I. I have a. My platform is on inclusivity and positivity. I'm not saying that like if you aren't that you're not for that. But mine is intentionally about that. And, okay, and, but I, and using those words makes me feel like me being who I am is not enough. And people even said, you just can't accept them for themselves. Like, I can't just accept you for you, Fraz. Apparently, I have to do more. That's where my question comes in at. Why can't I just accept you for you and move on? And I love it. You're, you're my friend. You're coming with yeah. us. We're going to have fun. And that's fine. And you say what you want to say. That's fine. And you say who you are. A hundred percent cool as fuck. Why do I feel that like people are telling me I got to do more? That's my because, question. Because that's that's and this is this is a sociology lesson, colleague. And it's all about you know the basic cultural norms. It's just at what whatever society dictates. Because I can tell you this: when it comes to uh, sex. The United States as a country is probably one of the most closed minded uh, cultural places when it comes to that. You go to Europe, it's nothing on Europe to see bare boobs on, on, on public television. But in the United States, oh my God, you can't have that. Yeah. Can't and- do it. And it's the way that the culture that we have had for over 200 years that witchcraft is taboo, sex is taboo, you know. Incest, definitely taboo. I have, uh, yeah. but you know, if you want to go out and marry a horse, go three miles out on international waters, you can marry your horse. Go for it. You know, it's just, that's just the way that the country has, uh, and our culture has molded its citizens and individuals inside of it to, to act. You know, I've, I've, I personally, I have a lot of issues with religion. I have a lot of issues with religion. Me too. Religion, I I found that in my studies, studying religions and everything, I just felt that, I feel that religion was a form of social control. Yeah. And 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 it was... Leave one one way, forcing your opinion on somebody else. Yeah. And and do I have, do I have a, um, do I have a, a belief in a higher power? Why, yes, I do. But do I believe that I need to pay my way to go see him when I expire from this earth? No, I don't. I don't feel like I should have to pay my way and let, you know, the guy who was telling me this word that, you know, I'm I'm a I feel like I'm a piece of crap because I'm a sinner. You know, every other Sunday, every Sunday, I might as well just, you know, say, you know what, I'm going to live my life and where I go is where I go. And that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, no, like I, I'm in the same boat. Yeah, but like I was saying, that my, my question is, I'm I'm a very in- inclusive person, and I'm very accepting of tons of things. I have a huge open mind. The thing yeah. that I don't like is like people are saying, "Well, you have to do more." Why do I have to do more? It's not well, my. What are they 
telling you to do more of. I, I mean, okay, like, so, so what they're saying is this. They're saying, okay, Paul, I like the fact that you're okay with the fact – well, just no offense, Fraz. I'm going to use you as an example again, yeah. okay? I like the fact that you're okay with Fraz being Fraz, but you need to encourage him more. And I'm like, for what? He's my friend. I'm, we're moving on. I mean, he could, he could do whatever he wants. I mean, that's his, his, that's his business. They're not mine. Acceptance. Your acceptance is part of the encouragement. Because yeah. it, to me, your acceptance is part of the encouragement. But listen, it, listen it, to me. Okay. If someone ever said anything bad about him or went after him, yeah, we're all going to go after the guy who did it or a girl or whoever. But oh, yeah. just because I'm in a room with you doesn't mean I need to sit there and give you affirmation after affirmation. You and you don't. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Yeah, because that's what they're presenting. That that's how they presented it to me. All these people are saying, "Well, you need to constantly aff- affirm him for his choice," and I'm like, "No one affirms me for my fucking choices." No, In fact, I, people usually just go after me for my choices. So, <laughs> I, the, the biggest thing, because like, because I'm an ally of, of 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 identities that I don't identify as. It's learning what in our language we are saying that is probably harmful. I mean, I mean, I mean, like, and finding finding language there. But also, if we see somebody saying something mean, like, like the other day, I saw somebody say the word "gay," and I did not no, look into that. I, I, yeah. And 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 I, but I did not stick up for it. And somebody in that same room, oh. it hurt deep. And so it, it's well, saying you're gay where, is not hurtful. Saying you're a fag is hurtful. Saying well, you're a homo is a hurtful word. I don't see how person, f- how gay is an offensive word. They used it to be like, oh, that's gay. They were using it as stupid. Yeah, yeah. But that's, and, and that's but what, remember, back in the 40s, gay meant happy. It didn't mean a, 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 je- a, a sexual, you know, thing, you know? It was, hey, he's gay, which means he's happy. But and, and so that I mean, word has changed so meanings over the years. But somehow, and, and, and that was gay. a lot of that was from uh, Rogers and Hammerstein, you know, that they, they – pretty much coined that term and once people stopped you know listening to a lot of that music that they know the rogers and hammersteins you know i'm happy i'm happy so happy and and gay yeah Yeah. i I don't i'm not uncomfortable saying words and things that truly are not offensive to me I'm not uncomfortable saying the ones that are. Yeah, you'll hear me go, eh, or I'll be like, eh, let's not talk about that. You guys know me no. now for th- at least three years on this podcast, and this is all yeah. I do. So I don't. That's why I'm saying I get kind of offended when people tell me I do extra. And thank you for telling me I don't, because I'm it, like, you don't. I, I you just didn't think be. I was doing anything wrong. It, it don't change nothing. It, no, it, it really doesn't. it doesn't. It doesn't change nothing because you're sitting here saying that you have to do extra, and I disagree. With the fact that, you know, someone's telling you, oh, you have to do extra for this person. But it's like, no, I don't have to do extra for this person because I'm going to treat them the same as I thank treated you. them yesterday before I learned this new information. Thank you. Exactly. That's exactly. Thank you. And That's that, all I wanted to know. It's it okay for me to be who I am because it absolutely. feels like I can't be who I am. I have to no. be ultra something different. That's all. You've got you've, you, you've to be true to who you are. You, you, like. I, I'm true to who I am, but you've got to be true to who you are, and and that's really what it's all about. It's about accepting people, but they're still people. I mean, that's the yeah, it, right. Well, and I tell you, at my, at my current employer, they um, they gave us the option for the month of June to purchase uh, pride shirts, and uh, someone asked me. Uh, Hey B, would you wear would you wear a pride shirt, or would you go to a pride fest? I, I said the first thing that came out of my mouth was, "Will there be food?" <laughs> 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 and, and and it's like, well, yeah, of course there'll be food. I'm like, then I'll go. Yeah, I mean, I'll go to support. I'll go to support anybody for, for whatever. As long you you feed me, that's that's the only <laughs> thing I'm worried about. I'm concerned about. Oh, I've been I've been to a couple mm-hmm. pride fests. They are fun as hell. But I'm a guy and who loves to. tons of shit too. So it's like, yeah. hey, we're going to go to a beer fest. You want to go to that? Hell yeah, let's go. Hey, we're going to exactly. go to Pride Fest. Fuck what? yeah, let's go. That's this is who I am though. So. Yeah, but you, speaking but, of that, speaking of that, I went to a uh I went to a chili cook-off in uh Pflugerville, Texas once. Down in Austin, in Austin area, Austin suburbs. And and you know, the the people I was with was with that weekend and they were like, "Hey, um, 
how do you feel about going to a chili festival? I'm like, let's go. So <laughs> went to a chili festival and it was a fantastic time of just beer and chili and had a great time, but a horrible night. But you hmm. know what? I'd do it again. Nice. <laughs> this wasn't that bad. I, I was a little worried about this. So that's why I said don't go live. But this, thank you guys. Oh, yeah, no. Cause like this Absolutely. was troubling me for real. Cause I thought I was okay. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just have to think about, like, so in the last, what, I'd say 40 to 50 years, think about the mainstream identity, right? It's always been strictly male, female, hetero. So yeah. think about, like, you're being true to yourself. Yes, that you are you are more open-minded than most because a lot of the times, just society in general, I mean, any other deviation from that, you were they were ostracized. And, of course, they can't be themselves. So they have to do extra on their end just to just to be accepted, right? So us accepting Fraz for who he is here, that's the bare minimum. That's why nothing changes. That's why you don't have to do anything extra. But yeah. you have to understand that the, it, that's not the case 90% of the time. 90% of the time for, for like like hetero males like us, that's you can find us a dime a dozen and it's ex- and it's more generally accepted in a lot of environments, but not but not uh, other labels. Like it's I was a, always, again Social norms, man. It's social right. norms. Right. I was always told that I need to find a partner, that I need to like have sex and stuff like that. I'm like, it's <laughs> not ever. No, no, seriously. I would tell people that I know I don't want to. And they'd be like, no. And I'm like, and, what? and if he, yes, no, I. that's, well, that's, well, you mean like parents and stuff. Parents are always the one like, you need to find a nice even, girl, friends, even friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's not me. I don't know. It feels pretty good. I, I, I recommend it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you, if, if you like it, that's good. It's like... Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan <laughs> of sex, too. Sex is good. Yes. <laughs> I like that lead pipe cruelty, though. So, Fraz, don't worry. We're all strange, okay? Absolutely. Hey, and, and, and Fraz, I'm behind you 100%, man. No, I don't really? that every... All right, let me see that jacket you're wearing, Fraz. Let me see that. Was that a robe? What is it? it, it it's a shawl. I get to wear nice. shawls now. I love them. I, I, I'm starting to get... So. You get to wear shawls like you couldn't before? <laughs> no. I, you think about who would made a fun of them. It's just not. It's I don't just get it. That it looks is. cool as shit. Why the fuck would you think someone would make fun of you? There well, would be people that well, I'd, I'd wear that fucker. Fuck yeah. That looks comfy as hell. <laughs> it Shaw, is. It do is. a full. I want to see a full picture of that. Full frontal. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> probably rethink that color scheme but you know <laughs> no i like that that's nice that's nice and also here's what i've also been doing uh, and, and i love this i don't do this for jokes i actually do this because i like it what is that get the it, it's a, a nice hat? little fe- yeah i got a nice different color that's cool dude that's cool dude hey, hey look, 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 look i'm wearing i'm wearing tony stark sunglasses <laughs> okay you can wear a fucking hat with a little pimp there are people who tell me that i that i <laughs> that i couldn't or even my mind well, and the other thing is, I would think in my mind, oh, I wouldn't be able to attract a mate if I, well, like, not in today's <laughs> world, dude. Th- girls love the uniqueness in today's world. Why do I, dude? Oh, I look so money, white trash with this on, don't I? You look like <laughs> Harry Carey. Oh, Harry Carey. How long have you been a spy, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> You're a spy, Harry. We should have went live with that. I was just worried that I would come off as a dick, and I'm really not. That you guys know that's not me. So, but I was a little worried because me asking no, those man. questions, I was a little worried about that. But thank no, you. And, and I know you have you have questions. We all got questions yeah. about a lot of different things, and then we just. I think the I think that your effort to educate yourself a little bit more on the speaks the, volumes the situation speaks a lot of volumes. Yeah, it speaks does. Volumes. Yeah. Well, I, when, I had when people it comes unfollow to edu- me because of my decision. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, fuck those little dicks. All right, but. <laughs> What I'm saying is, is that no, I'm, I'm like I said, you guys know I'm very open minded. I just was like, I don't feel like I need to do anything else. I've known him like what he was before, like he is now, and yeah. how he's going to be in the future. The only arguments we're going to have is shit we won't agree with, and then at the end, we're still going to hang out and do shit. We're still friends, exactly. So fuck. If, if, if whoever you like, whoever I don't like, it's and, all good. and that's the that's the measure of a true friend, and that's the way I've always said. I'm like, it's what I call barbershop rules. You know, if you've ever been to a, a an African American barbershop, you go in, everybody there, you know, you got the two old guys playing checkers in the corner. Yeah. Everybody else everybody'll sit around. That's real? We'll, yeah, yes, that's real. That's real. Yes, that's real. 
You get the two old guys playing checkers in the corner. You got the guy that comes in every now and then trying to sell some type of a tape or hustle to get something because you know he's just going to buy drugs with it. But everybody sits around, <laughs> makes fun of everybody, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, we all still friends. That's just I how that it was goes. A stereotype. No, no, my friend. Get no, out and explore buddy. more, Fraz. <laughs> you know what? And you know what, Fraz? Just for that, I'm going when the next time you come to town. I'm going to take you to my barbershop here yes. in. I'm going to take you to my barbershop, and it's not in the hood. It's actually in St. Charles, Missouri. Hmm. I'm going to take you to my barbershop, and you can experience it firsthand. The level of diversity that goes on, and now the old, the two old guys that play checkers, they used to play checkers in there. They don't play checkers anymore. They've since passed on. However, mm-hmm. on, during the off time, they sit in there and they play uh, they play Xbox and troll each other while playing Madden. It's a thing. Nice. Nice. It's a thing. Take you to get a haircut at, at my barber shop and you'll you'll have a, a very dynamite experience. And after that, I'm we'll go fade to the uh, back. Yeah. Now, after that, we'll go over to the video game bar and we'll kick put some lines on. Them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go, put some acre well, project on there. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. There's a there's a bar kind of close by to there that's a, a video game bar because those are a thing here in St. Louis where basically all those retro video games from the 80s and 90s they put them in bars and they uh they sell beer and food with it almost like nice. mini Dave and Busters hmm. um you know you ever seen the movie Rounders Frasley with Matt Matt Damon and uh Edward Norton can't say how well in the movie they go to a place where uh they get a fresh clean sh- like straight razor shaver. That's where I go to every once in a blue moon, but it's really cool. It's old school. You sit in the chair, you feel like you're in uh, the movie Godfather, like they're going to come whack you because they put steam towels all around your face. And it's old school like that, like, like what, um, uh, B. Dism was saying. And they razz the hell out of each other in that thing. I mean, yeah. they go everything from racial to sexual, whatever. And they're all best friends from years. They all were in the army together. So. You know, I, I guess it would be a good thing to feel like the Godfather when getting that type of shave and not Sweeney Todd. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to as long as they don't my picture. I mean, my uh, get a light. I'll be right back. As long as they don't shave off all this hair, because I'm growing my hair out now. That's going to be a while. Yeah. It's going to be a minute. <laughs> I, 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 I'm waiting, because I, uh, I, I've, I've always done short, short hair, but I've done it. Yeah, my hair grows like sideways, so I can't do I can't do I can't do long hair. I've tried. It's, it's hard. It's finally almost down to my <laughs> to, to, to to my back, so it's it, it's getting there. Mm. We get you some of that mane and tail shampoo. Yeah, you know. Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Mane. I will try to shake. 